morning guys um today i thought that i would do a vlog video because it has been quite a while um it is about 8 30 in the morning i just got back from the gym um and i already had some breakfast before the gym sometimes i do sometimes i don't if i'm hungry then i will i'm just going to do some yoga um and then i'm going to go grocery shopping and like film some videos don't mind the tape um <laughs> I did something interesting um, to my wrist in yoga and I rock climb as well so yeah just taking care of it kind of <laughs> um, so I think I'll show you guys like my food haul and I might not show you everything that I eat because I do tend to be forgetful um, with showing you guys that but I'll definitely share like the majority or maybe I'll try to do a vlog what I ate in a day I don't really know I don't know what this is gonna be but um, I'll probably see you after yoga when I've done something with this situation <laughs> and I'm looking a little less crazy. I really, really love burning incense in the morning when I do my yoga and this morning I'm going to choose this one. Um, I don't know which of these labels is the brand. I assume it's Hem. Um, and I assume that Chandan is the scent. So yeah, I'm gonna light this and then get on my mat, which is over there. Um, I did actually mention this mat in my um, May favorites video, if it will focus, probably not. Um, it's a really, really awesome mat from Jade Yoga. I talk more about it in my videos, so definitely check that out if you're into yoga and curious about getting new tools. yoga and all showered and ready for the day I don't know about you guys but as soon as I've like taken a shower and gotten dressed I just feel so much more productive and like capable <laughs> I don't know what it is I definitely could not be like a nighttime showerer because I would just not feel like ready enough in the morning do you know what I mean I don't know anyway um, so I'm about to go shopping and I'll do like a little haul afterwards, but I'm not going to be getting heaps of stuff because I've mentioned before that I usually have like a base level of stuff at home um, because I buy a lot of things in bulk like rice and oats and um, dried lentils and stuff like that. Um, and then like I just kind of stock up on fresh stuff usually when I go grocery shopping and every now and then I do like a massive shop of things. Um, but at the moment, I just need like a bunch of fresh stuff um, and a few other things for like some recipes. So I'm going to do that. I don't know that I'll show you around the shops because I just feel like that would be really dull. Um, so I think I'll just like show you what I've got when I get back and then I'll show you like what I'm eating. And I guess like whatever else I do today, which is basically, bas ba uh, <laughs> basically going to be just some work. Um... And yeah, it might be a bit of a dull day, but you know, like, that's real life, isn't it? Not every day is going out and like eating food and whatever. Um, I am actually about to go out and meet a friend for coffee though, but I'm also not going to film that because, you know, not everyone wants to be on the internet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that, get some food, come back here, and then you'll see me again. So I've just gotten back from the shops and all of the stuff is currently like on the floor in the kitchen. Um, so I'm going to move it to the bench top and show you what I got. There it all is. Not that much as I mentioned earlier. Okay, so here is the grocery situation. Um, I say not that much, but it actually looks like quite a lot now that it's all spread out. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go along and try not to miss anything. Um, so here we've just got some pears, some zucchini, I got two big bunches of bananas. Um, I'll probably end up freezing some of them and I just like to get a lot at once because it does take a little while to ripen, especially during this time of year. It's winter in Australia, um, so they are taking a while. Under here I've got some spring onion and then I've got some fresh broccoli and I've also got some frozen broccoli. I like to have a bunch of frozen vegetables around 
for when the fresh stuff has run out and then I can still get lots of veggies because I like my veggies. <laughs> um, I've got some green beans. Here I've got some kiwi fruit, some mushrooms and underneath there I've just got some chamomile tea. Um, I've got four things of soy milk. I do go through it quite a lot, but I mean, this is definitely more than I'll need for the week. But again, like I like to get more than I need and then I've got more stuff in case I end up going a little bit later. Um, I've got a couple of things of cherry tomatoes and then here I've got some frozen raspberries and here are some frozen blueberries. I've got some tinned lentils and some tinned chickpeas um, and I've got two of each. And then here I've got two things of strawberries. I've got some baby spinach and then I've got some tinned tomatoes which I might use for like a curry or um, like a bolognese or whatever. Under there I've got a sweet potato. Um, I've already got some more sweet potato. I just wanted to get like an extra one. And then here I've just got two packages of some um, firm tofu, which I really like to use for like tofu scramble or stir fries um, or like a butter bowl or anything really. So yeah, that's everything that I got. Um, I'm quite hungry now, so I'm going to make um, some tofu scramble and I'll show you guys like how I make that. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. So here are the ingredients for the scramble. Um, I've got some tofu, obviously, and I'm using some um, like extra firm high protein tofu. Um, the reason I mention the high protein is sometimes it doesn't say extra firm on it, but if it says high protein, it's usually a really firm one. And you do want a firm one for tofu scramble or it ends up just turning into a big mushy mess. Um, so I'm gonna crumble this up with my fingers and then to this I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric just for the kind of yellowish color, some pepper, and I'm also gonna season it with some of a stock cube, um, not a whole one because that would be a little bit too salty for me, but you just kind of season it according to what you like. I'm also going to be using some spring onion, some mushrooms, some little mini Roma tomatoes, some baby spinach, and some nutritional yeast, and this just gives it um, like a cheesy-ish kind of flavor to it. onion and the tofu that's already been seasoned has just been cooking away um, and I'll cook this for maybe like another minute or so before adding in the rest of the ingredients. I've just chopped up the tomato and the spinach and I'll add them at the same time as the nutritional yeast like right at the end and just give it maybe like a minute on the heat um, and I'm gonna have it with some avocado and some hummus. And I'm also gonna have it with a couple of slices of this Vienna light rye that I'm just gonna toast up. Um, this was just in my freezer, which is why it looks a little strange. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Um, I don't eat bread that often, so I usually like will get a loaf and put it in the freezer so I can just have it like when I want it. Uh, so yeah. lunch situation. I decided not to worry about going with hummus because this already looks like quite a lot. Um, so I'm going to get into this um, and then I'll probably do a little bit of and then I'll probably do a little bit of work um, and yeah not really sure what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I may or may not film um, a recipe video. I have been thinking about doing some like vegan, obviously vegan, um, protein muesli bars. I've actually got everything that I need and I've already figured out the recipe and everything. Um, it's just a matter of whether or not I can be bothered to do it today because uh, it is a little time consuming filming res recipe videos. So we'll see how it goes. 
Hey guys, so it's the next day. <laughs> um, I didn't end up filming anything else after the last clip that you saw because it just ended up being like a super busy day and I'm just getting back into the swing of like vlogging and yeah, I know I'm making a lot of excuses. I'm not an amazing vlogger as you may <laughs> have noticed, but I do enjoy it. I just need to get a little bit better at it, I think. Um, so yeah, I think that the video is just going to be about, I guess, like the food haul, small as it was, and the scrambled tofu recipe, which was so good. I actually hadn't made scrambled tofu in a while, and I hadn't made it like that before as well. It's like a little bit different to what I usually do. Um, I really recommend it. It was so good, and even for someone who is like not vegan, I think it would really hit the spot. So I would definitely recommend to like make it and share it with someone that you like. Um, who may not be vegan and hasn't had something like that before and, you know, show how delicious vegan food can be. Um, so I'm just going to leave the video here. If you liked it and would like me to do more of these kinds of like chatty vlog style videos, please let me know in the comments below and be sure to like the video as well. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on more videos. I'm definitely going to be uploading a lot more and very consistently. Um, and also make sure that you've got notifications turned on so that you don't miss a video. And I'll see you next time.